Hey guys, Jim again with RiotSportsMarketing.com. So you, you just get that new job, you move into your new office, and the first thing you realize is that you need a new printer cartridge. You call up your predecessor on the phone, ask how you go about getting a new printer cartridge, and he tells you just to go introduce yourself to Joe up the front office, and, and he'll give you a new printer cartridge. So you swing by the front office, and Joe hands you a form. He requires that it's filled out in triplicate and submitted one week prior to needing the order fulfilled. Um, see, the, the, the difference here is that Joe and your predecessor had a working relationship, but also that they're, uh, you know, they've been working together for, let's say, eight years. Their kids went to school together. Or they kids spend their summers at the pool together. Your predecessor knew Joe and Joe knew him. So their relationship was built upon trust. And for that reason, your predecessor is able to work more effectively and more efficiently than you are. Uh, this relationship is between these two people is, is just a microcosm of the relationship between you and your fans and your community of supporters. You know, if you get pissed off because your fans don't show up in droves to attend your events or they don't donate their estate to your program, well, maybe it's you. Or maybe at least it's, it's the relationship between you and your fans. Uh, you know, relationships are built upon trust. And trust is not necessarily, it's not, it's not transferable from one person to the next. You build trust with your fans by being there for them. And I mean being there for them more than they're there for you because sometimes, let's face it, sometimes your fans aren't going to be there for you. So you have to be there for them and, and, and that's just part of coaching. And if you're a parent, you know what that means and you can kind of probably relate to that a little bit better. Uh, but you, you know, you also build trust by pulling back the curtain and sharing the behind-the-scenes content, like video content of uh, you know pre-game preparations, for example. You send out tweets that show real emotion, and they're not filtered through your your pre-wired mental bureaucracy that's been installed by by your institution. Um, you know, when your fans know you as well as, as Joe knows your predecessor, then you can expect better attendance and you can expect increased support and you can expect stronger fundraising. And, you know, you can put your head down and trudge forward with the belief that if you just teach your athletes better technique, if you just keep teaching them, you know, you're going to be successful and you're going to reach the pinnacle. Or, or you can build trust, build relationships, network with your community and open the doors to true lasting success. So take action today. Build lasting relationships with your fans and your supporters that are based on trust. Take action today. Good luck.